Welcome to the Mario era chapter 122. Cien do bitty do Mario. And I got a savage defensive line. Oh, 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 my goodness, is portal season. Ooh. He's pretty good at that shit. Oof. Hey, before we get there, happy Whiskey Wednesday. It's technically recording a day early on a Tuesday, but when you're listening to this, it's a Wednesday. Cheers to all yours. Hope everybody's doing good out there in OBB land. Cheers. Cheers. I, I'm doing cheer. I'm doing the high noon. Held on the bourbon for this week. Wifey uh, went to Costco, and there's quite the deal on the high noon, so we we have a lot in the fridge. <laughs> I think Mando, he's a high noon guy, right? I think I see him, like, you know, doing that. I, when he goes to the barber and he gets bad sports takes from guys in skinny jeans, I, I think mm-hmm. he's a high noon guy. For mm-hmm. some reason, I think yeah. that's true. I know he's a Dunkin' guy and a Publix guy. Ah, but cheers to you, Mando. Cheers. How you doing, Scoopy? It could have been Tequila Tuesday. I mean, think about it. But it's Wednesday. <laughs> Didn't even cross my mind. It is not. I, well, yeah, you can walk and to the you, kitchen you and get You do some. Whiskey Wednesdays on Wednesdays, yeah. not on I Thursday see. drops. So this would be a Tequila Tuesday, Wednesday drop, whatever. You could keep your tequila. All it's right. your fault too, by the way. So yes. before we get into the fun news of the day, um, there was some late breaking news. Those of you aware, we saw the tweet drop or the post drop whatever the fuck we call them now on x but um the defensive end from tennessee mr baron just pretty much the the final touches on what has just been a ridiculous haul in the portal for mario 130 tackles 13 and a half sacks for his career and i think you know the attraction it's jason taylor gold jacket they want to be they they want to be trained by the best they do one thousand percent and he's the best are you talking to yourself? I didn't even hear you talk. Are you What's muting? wrong? Oh, no. What's wrong, Scoop? You fell over. Right. Only- Technical problems. Somewhere. Okay. You there? Oh. I see his face. He's lit up. All right. I see the face. I'm just concerned that it's not the happy Scoop face. No. Nah. <laughs> Okay, while well, we're waiting for him to chime yeah, in. Yeah, all right. Anyways, yeah. So a, a great get, and like, dude, the pressure just mounts, bro. Just mounts. I, I kinda, I'm at the <laughs> point, like, let's be greedy. We're stacking up at that position. Now listen to some of the names now. You got Bain, Alston, McConathy, Pickett, Barron, Mesador, Lightfoot, Rudolph. How about That's Blunt? It. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 like, Savage. Savage Nation. I almost wish that we could diversify the portfolio in other positions. Can we do that at cornerback and safety right? as well? But I guess they're saying, screw it. When you have a defensive line that good, you don't even need linebackers and safeties. Just throw four people at them. Just, you don't need it. <laughs> They'll get there before you have your even opportunity to get the ball out. Good luck. Let's meet at the That, that was going to be part of my, uh, you know, last week I was, I was bitching and complaining about the lack of depth at uh, corner and safety and fuck it. Who needs them? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's the new theory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You only need, you don't you don't you can't cover for a second and a half, then uh, shouldn't be out there. I think we'll Spooky be fine. Season. I think so too. I think so too. I liked the defense a lot last year. I I, I liked Lance Gidry the higher, and I'm excited to see what that guy's going to do in year two. I'm excited. So the uh, the best story of the day, mm-hmm. quite possibly the best story of 2024 so far in terms of a Miami Hurricane fan, is the announcement today that former commit, Jaden Rashada, quarterback, we all know the history, has filed a lawsuit against Billy Napier and a major Florida booster and the collective and some of those guys running that um, for fraud (laughs) because apparently, and this is the interesting part, According to at least what I read within this lawsuit, and I believe lawsuits have to be based on fact or else you you yourself could get screwed for filing something that isn't true. Based on the lawsuit, the fraud is that he gave up $9.5 million, which had been guaranteed to him by Miami to go for the 13.5. And when that bailed out, he lost out on the 9.5. And he wants to get that money back. And John Ruiz came out, said I only gave him, what, like 150 grand or something like that, that he was paid back to me from the booster. But that's what's going on, everybody. 
So it's been uh, it's been fun today to kind of read about all this stuff and yeah. I think it's good. I, you know, all the times you've heard of coaches kind of like lying, and, and, and you have just li- lied, right? It was the classic bait and switch. They didn't want him to go to Miami. They wanted him more than anything, so they upped the bag, right? And we all knew that, and it's above the table. This These kind of conversations has been going on back doors for years and years. Now that it's above the table, now you add this litigious aspect to it? <laughs> so you mean he, when you don't come through, Gators? <laughs> they have the opportunity to sue you for fraud. I hope he wins. That's what I hope. I hope he wins and gets his money. Give the man his money. <laughs> Scoop, before before you go, Scoop, so this is one of the, they, they released some of the texts between Eddie Rojas, the CEO of the Gator Collective, and uh, some other folks, quote, tell Jaden, uh, we look forward to setting him up for life. Need to set up his brokerage accounts ASAP. Dude is rich and we just got started. As well as, quote, we're going to have to dodge the freaks in Miami. I hate Miami. This is going to be fun to watch. Oh, well, you know what? It is fun to watch. <laughs> I feel like it's the uh, timestamp pause. Am I still fucking hot? Like, this is pissing me off. You sound fine. You're a little bit better. Jenner's tell me I'm hot the Last entire time. Last time through, you were. Yeah. You're a little bit better now. Sorry. You're okay. Dealing with, dealing with shit. Um, okay. So the funny, I feel like the Homer Simpson guy, like back and back into the bushes as I watch and I'm just like peeking out like, oh man, this is fun, but I'm dodging all the tomatoes. I mean, holy shit. And the best part about the whole thing, to be honest with you, is that he's suing Billy personally, (laughs) which is wild, right? So apparently per the suit, this is what I we've read and I don't put. I'm not even going to talk about the Ruiz thing. I was going to say, I don't believe that he had given him any money. I think the 150 was to pay for him to get out kind of thing that the yeah. Gator Collective gave him to give to Miami. I don't think it was Miami ever gave him anything. No. But but uh, so I had a point. Oh, so apparently Billy told him personally. Now, this wasn't in writing, but Billy told him, you sign, you get 500 or a million or whatever it is. A million you know, is a million. A million at signing day. And then he signed. And then a day later, he realized that it wasn't coming and he bailed. Um, I don't know. I mean, look, it, he didn't have anything signed with Billy. Billy can tell him whatever he wants. Right. So I think that you're correct in the in the assumption of the premise that he lost out on Miami because you promised him this. So I, it's great. Well, so I think, it's, I think it's awesome. I, any, any bad news to that program is it, it just is a great day for, for us. Well, so here's the other angle to it. And this was what I was kind of uh, stunned by. We offered 9.5 million to Jaden Rashad. I mean, if that's true, if that's, and I would think that in a lawsuit like this, if you put out a false number like that within a lawsuit that that would come back to bite the lawyer, but I'm not a lawyer. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe you can bullshit in those. I don't know. But if if we promised Jay 9.5, which came out to like what two point whatever a year or something, how is how is Cam not getting like three and a half, four? Like I mean, like I mean, like, do you believe that number? Like that seems excessive. Yeah, well, high. that yes, and and here's why. It's uh, I say his name, bro. Oh, say his yeah, name. Tennessee guy. Yeah, yeah say his name. I'm Oliva. Yeah, I'm Oliva. It was That's the height. That's the height. Right, he got eight million Same bucks guy. to go to Tennessee, mm-hmm. and Rashada was. Many thought to be similar, not, but many thought to be similar. And he was the next guy up. He was the next guy up before the market started to semi-regulate itself. And people started to realize, wait a minute, this is the, we actually have to make money in this. So what you're saying, Scoopy, Jaden Rashado was the NCAA college version or NFL version of Sam Bradford. He, he got he that was, rookie uh, deal. He got that. Well, he I'm was the last one. I'm the was the last guy to get the huge rookie deal. And after that, they're like, no, we need to get a salary cap. And I'm with all you guys. And I've said, it. I know why he got offered a lot of money because there was people in the Rashada camp that from the Miami side that were really extremely high on it. And I did not see it. I did not see it. I felt like it was just too much stock and barrel in the flag football circuit. And I don't necessarily think that's always going to translate. I don't think he had the physical skill sets that Nico had at all. I thought he was a, a great prospect, but here's the silver lining. I think you dodged the bullet 
you save some money, and it's egg on the Gators face, and they're probably going to get sued. And there's a good chance he might win. So it's a win-win for win-win for everybody, right? Win-win for everybody. Like he went out to he went out to Arizona State. You know, he wasn't a world beater, good QB. But again, I think even in an Arizona State system, you, you I don't I don't think you saw this. Maybe down the road he's going to be there, but it's not this plug and play Trevor Lawrence guy. That's <laughs> Trevor Lawrence money, and he's not even close to Trevor Lawrence money. Here's the coolest part: is that moving forward now, anytime you have a recruit on campus and they mention anything about the NIL that the Gators have offered, you can just start laughing. You just start laughing because it's a joke. It's not. It's not real. Like it's just like recruiting wise, their NIL is going to be absolutely zero credibility, and, and that can and why only did be it, good for everybody else. And why did they get burned? Why did they get burned? Because they hated Miami so much they couldn't let Miami win that they wrote checks that their ass couldn't ca- cash. And now that ass is cheeks. It's about to get smack red. Pop, pop, pop. It's just such an awesome, awesome story. I, they should put this on court TV. I want to see Billy testify. I want to see the. I want to see the deposition. Oh come on! <laughs> like there's no way after this schedule, like in the lawsuit now, he is dead man walking. Oh. Like he is on the green mile right now. It's just a matter of when they want to flip the switch. Is it week six? Is it week eight? Is it after week one? Like when are they going to do it? They knew too. Looking at that schedule, getting a new coach in here for that year with the team that they currently have. That wasn't going to be fair to that guy. <laughs> they wouldn't get anyone to take the job. Yeah, yeah no one's like, not job. decent. What, no one's going to take that. And that's going to be the SEC year in and year out, man. That that schedule is brutal. That schedule is brutal. So whoever takes the job is going to have to like hit it head on. But I, I, we all know Billy's done. He's done. There's no way he's making it past this year. And maybe, maybe their silver lining is, is that they can basically tie this around Billy's neck so that when he leaves the program, well, ah, I was Billy making promises he couldn't keep now we got a new coach in our in and out it's just fine it's the only hope they have i mean the, I, I i well i think the only other hope they have is um lagway is generational mm-hmm. and comes out as a freshman and delivers and shows you that he's going to be amazing then maybe and they can win like five or six games somehow then mm-hmm. he's got a know. he's got a if he's the starter an heir apparent week win. well i know i know he, he's got a monumental challenge week one against us because that defensive uh, line to a freaking true freshman. <laughs> you better make sure your offensive line bring it because we're going to definitely bring it. And that's the thing. When when you have that much talent, that much talent, I, I want to see something. R- remember when we had that running back, Damian Berry, we would put him in notoriously under Randy Shannon in the second half, and he had like sea legs, and he would just run over people in the second half. It's going to be hot when we play the Gators. So hot that the Orange Bowl boys changed to the Bougie Bowl boys. That's well established. It's very, very hot and humid. <laughs> You can basically keep some guys fresh for the second half of that of that game, you know, moving on. And it's going to be relentless all day. It's not just one dude. It's multiple dudes. So you can get that hellacious pass rush all day. So I like that depth. Gators, you got a problem week one. I'm picking us all day long. Cheers. He's not beating up Mertz. Even better. Whatever. Mm. I'm, I'm just kidding. saying, I don't, I don't think he beats up Mertz. Mer- Mertz plays like his name. He sounds like a Mertz. He plays like a Mertz. That's just Mertz. Mertz. Like, it, it sounds like a fart. That's but if he, doesn't, if he doesn't play as a freshman and you file naps, he's gone. He's in the portal and he is out because he was totally, he is all about Billy Naps. Like, that's, they have a relationship. He will be Why? gone. He'll be out the door. Why? I don't know. Listen, man, I mean, he might be a nice guy. You know, like whatever, and they just have a bond apparently. So, but I think he'd be right out the door with them. He'd be in the portal and gone. So you lose your five star quarterback as well to take over for Mertz. If if you have a dude that's literally lock, step, and key with Billy Napier, I, I just get this imagery like he's in a house. He's like he's he's convinced. No, no, don't 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 look outside. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look outside. No, everything's fine. Everything's fine. No, no, don't. Bro was just gently but, touching his chin. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't, don't look. Don't look. But if you just looked outside, you would see that it's a raging inferno mixed with a hurricane that's on top of an earthquake. It is like brutal. It is a natural disaster. Just look outside, dude. Stop looking at Billy Napier's <laughs> eyes. He's wooing you. <laughs> but he's wooing you into chaos. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, my goodness. Mm. all right good story it was awesome it's, it's just beautiful hey listen it's i want to drama give some... we need in college football offseason man it's the drama that we need in florida 
I don't want to jump off the football train too much, but I definitely got to tip my cap. Cheers to Daniel Cuvet for the University of Miami Hurricanes, who tied Pat the Bat Burrell uh, with a freshman rookie home run record uh, today. University of Miami took one from Louisville, eight to five. He mm-hmm. he's a special he's a special dude, man. He is yeah, a he is. special special dude. You know, I was thinking after Yo Andre left that we were going to have a drop off at third. No, 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 not even close. So University of Miami, enjoy him because you got somebody special. So let's see what we could do in this ACC tournament. All bets are off at the end of the year. Just get some hot bats, get the pitching to kind of like turn up. Need a hot pitching. You need some do. hot pitching. Forget oh, the yeah. hop. The bats are fine. We need hot pitching. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's the thing. That's the thing for the University of Miami relief pitching is has been kind of a, an Achilles heel. Um, some starts you get some quality starts, but when you don't get a quality start and then you get into that bullpen, you kind of get Miami exposed. So they, they have a they have monumental work to do uh, at that program, but we'll see what happens. But just again, tip of the cap. I I went down when Pat Burrell was at University of Miami, so I was a freshman playing against someone who was at Coastal Carolina, and I watched that guy through like do BP, and I'm like an 18 year old kid. I was a young kid playing freshman year in college, and I, I watched that dude hit baseballs, and I I swear I I was just in awe. Aubrey Huff was on that team. I, I could not believe people hit the ball that far. I was just like in awe. <laughs> just, just how far they hit a baseball. It was Nuke City. Uh, but Daniel Cuvet on par with that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Scoop, you good? Good. Anything annoying you? Visually at all? Nope. Damn. All right. I thought you'd say something by this point about the reflection of my glass no i've seen them no like no them. no so this one doesn't have the they they fucked up this one doesn't have the glaze on it so you can actually see if i have porn hub open yeah i see that pga uh championship that was pretty awesome xander gets his uh uh xander gets his we even talk we even we're talking about, talk about no, we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about scotty yeah just finish up the spot okay sorry and then we'll talk scotty sorry i got a little i got a little <laughs> off uh <laughs> Channel your inner here. row, channel your inner sports talk row, finish it off, and then we'll talk Scotty. Be in the bookie.com. Go get your packages. Okay. <laughs> was well done. Dude, this is an insane story. This insane is insane. Story. In, in, it's pure insanity. I actually saw this story too. Well, look, he's I'm sure you did. You had to have, right? I mean, it was the biggest sports story of of the weekend that that I know of. I mean, truly. I mean, they had some game sevens, uh, but it wasn't uh it wasn't Kevin Na. It wasn't uh Joel Damon. It wasn't some guy who who you Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed, who you'd probably be happy. <laughs> right, right. It was the Michael Jordan of the sport. It's the best player in the world. And on top of it, one of the nicest and most genuine dudes on the planet. So for that to happen to him was totally in nuts right we woke up friday you saw the headlines you're like wait what what but then you see him like being taken away in handcuffs and you're like wait what because you you know your mind's like because of why so i just i mean his presser after the round so he gets the guys who do, who hadn't heard the story don't follow the golf didn't see the story whatever. scotty Scheffler gets arrested at 5 30 in the morning trying to get through the gate into the tournament right there was a fatality, unfortunately, like they had an accident um, where one of the people working the tournament got hit by one of the, the shuttle buses. It was raining. It was dark. Brutal. Just terrible. So he's going around. Anyway, so this cop goes nuts, arrests him, takes him to jail. He comes out and he shoots the best Friday round he's ever shot in a major. Three hours and half an hour, three hours and 45 minutes after he gets arrested, they he bails out. I mean, I don't know how this happens so quickly, but apparently Louisville's pretty swift. He bails out, makes it back to the course for 45 minutes to go, warms up, goes out, shoots 66. Totally nuts. He may have shot 65, shot 66 that day. 66 on Friday. 65 on Friday? Yeah, I thought he 65. Shot. Yeah. I mean, what are we talking about? So, the 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 part that I don't know I had a whole point to this I had a, I had a part that I was confused oh if you watch it after and he talks about all kinds of shit that it was his first he he began his uh his pre stretch routine in a jail cell he said that was a first for him very interesting 
He was watching himself on TV in jail. And that's where he learned that they pushed the tea times back and that he might actually be able to get out in time and make his tea time. I don't know. I was fascinated by it. I'm I'm clearly the only one who gives a fuck. But no, I, I thought it was a great story. I think it's awesome. I think uh, <clears throat> Louisville and Valhalla can pretty much kiss off ever having a major again. Um, listen, it, it, was obviously, it, it, it was a it was a combination of events. So one other aspect was is before the tournament starts, there are um, it's a detail, it's a specific detail for the Louisville PD, the cops that are going to work the tournament. They're all golf fans. They all know who Scotty Scheffler is. But because there was a fatality accident, this was a detective that wasn't part of that crew. So the instructions Scotty had been giving apparently earlier or the day before by the traffic cops of how you're supposed to go, he was following those instructions. And this guy didn't realize that and whatever, and he ripped his pants and he got really upset. They were beyond repair. They were $80. And they were beyond repair. How do you rip your pants beyond repair? Because beyond apparently repair. he was dragged by about 5,000 yards in a car, which I refuse to believe. I, I bet it couldn't have been more than 10 feet um, from just the beyond reaction, repair. jumping on the hood and Scotty not realizing to hit the brake and it takes a second and you've gone 10 feet or five feet, whatever. Um, and then the DA today, bro, was pissed off that Scotty had left, that they wanted to continue. It's on the arraignment. He was pissed that he flew out, went back to Texas last night. <laughs> I thought they'd already Sunday pushed night. it though. No, so they hadn't what? done it. And they then, were then trying the judge... to drop all the charges. Is the last thing? Yeah, they're, apparently they're not dropping in all the charges yet. This is insane. Okay. Second degree, it's a felony, dude. Second degree assault on a cop. You get like legit go to jail for a few years. See, my brain. This th this is my brain. I am thinking of Jim Carrey at this moment, right? Jim Carrey did a skit on In Living Color where he was the chair of the justice. Sweet Chuck to Grand Crown Squirrel. Sweet Chuck, you my name, Mom. I'm going to send you to jail. Like, this dude was so overzealous. Like, like dude, he, he was following traffic. Relax. Get out of the way. You probably hooked onto the car. Cherub of justice. You're going to jail, Scotty Shepard. You're going to jail. Like, just <laughs> relax. Take a chill pill. I work with you popos all the time. Some of you guys are wound up tight. Just let the guy go through. He's just trying to get to his tea time. He's the nicest dude. He's not trying to maliciously hit you. <laughs> like Bruh. he's got better things to do on this on earth. His car like the uh, terminator dude. like he's got way better things to do you know what this was popo you know what this was you were just trying to make a name for yourself yeah i'm calling you out you just jumped on his hood because you wanted to be that guy all right you're that guy that guy stop I being will, that guy i will say the whole notion of a dude getting arrested for assaulting a cop and still getting bailed out in time to make his tea time is like the whitest guy thing. Ever. <laughs> is a golf thing. I mean, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, how the hell did that even happen? That was insane. But yeah, I mean, I, listen, I hope they resolve it. But what a so freaking story. That so was what you're insane. saying is if that happened to Tiger Woods, he'd have to flip a coin to see which way it would go. Just saying if that happened to a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> it would go a different way. Oh my goodness! <laughs> they wouldn't. They would have been hold disqualified on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. If that happens to Tiger, he's back out uh, Probably even faster sooner. than Scotty. Yeah, like knock it off with that. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you that <laughs> Tiger's Nike, the only one? Can I tell you that Nike missed an opportunity to put him in all orange? On, oh yeah, on Friday or Saturday. Oh, oh my goodness, that needs to be right. his thing. That that would would been, can't Get it out. Been, well, it can't, so it can't be because it's Ricky's. Every, every Friday or when he, because well, that was the day that he, you know, yeah. he, he mm -hmm. needs yeah. to go out in all orange. It's his perp outfit. He could, he could do a, uh, he could That's do amazing. something on Fridays that would be at least funny. Maybe if he did it this week or so. So, so Ricky wears all orange on Sundays. That's his thing. So he can't do it on Sunday. And he can't do all orange because Ricky does all orange. But if you wore something orange on Fridays, that would be funny. Did you see the guys Some who had numbers. the shirts? Dude, I was about to say that. So the tea, they teed off at like around what, 10 a.m.? They was pushed into like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, yeah, they obviously have a I had a printer at home. <laughs> a cricket in the back seat? A <laughs> cricket. They had a cricket. They Love printed that shit out. But they oh. literally had, dude. The one had his mug shot, mug shot on his shirt, free Scotty. And then he, and then he was, he was uh, right at the ropes off the back of eighteen when Scotty finished, and Scotty gave him a high five. Scoop, I got a question. You're the most technical golfer out of all of us. I've got the least amount of skill. Is it possible? Is it possible to actually successfully play golf with like some ankle shackles? 
<laughs> I would say yes, except for Scotty. <laughs> okay, well, it was just Scott, so look, Scotty has has the wildest feet in the history of the game. So there's no way Scotty could play with shackles on. I could. And most people could. Scotty can't. So there you go. There's the irony. All right. Scotty, Scotty Shuffle. The irony. The irony. <laughs> Ankle shackles. Good job, Scoop. So good. All right. Let's, spin uh, that wheel. Yeah, let's get some audio going with the wheel spin. Oh, yeah. Here you go. So uh, let's start with Ant-Man. Uh, Anthony where's Edwards. The, where's the wheel? In, oh, you want the wheel? All right, here. Gotta have oh. the wheel. Now they think it's rigged. It's going to land on Ant-Man. All right, let's start with Anthony Edwards in Minnesota. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> good. Good. They, good they job. They won Game Seven. They beat Denver in Denver. Uh, came back from twenty points down. They had Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns in the post game press conference, and they asked him this. This is for either one of you guys. It, and usually in NBA history, it says you have to lose and lose big before you win. What is it about this team that says we lost got, last year? Yeah, but that that that's different. You have to lose at a bigger stage. Usually, teams usually... It's the playoffs. We lost last year. <laughs> we lost the last two years. <laughs> God damn. How much more we got to lose? Yeah, how much you want us to lose? We've been losing for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just the truth, dog. God damn. This <laughs> <laughs> dude's went straight awesome. Friday skit. Oh. I love that so much. God damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is awesome. We lose for 20 years. We lose for 20 years. Oh. I mean... God that's damn. when the, that's that's when the that's when the reporter and, and that's such a a bad tragic human trait. It was a mm-hmm. terrible question, dude. And you try to hedge it, but like, well, no, in a big situation, damn, we lost in the playoffs for like the last two years, for the last twenty years. How much more losing do you want to do? It was a terrible question. Own up to it. Find it's like find the, the it's like the woman first, asking the uh, excuse. It's like the woman asking the the Tampa Bay head coach about playing in uh, Detroit in the in mm-hmm. the weather. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. supposed to be right. 15 degrees. And he's like, uh, <laughs> it's a dome. I think it's Listen, a dome. <laughs> for you, for you reporters, just realize you watch those athletes day in and day out, and you'll see it, right? They'll miss a layup. They'll miss a layup. It happens, right? It's, it's just part part of life. You missed the layup, Holmes. <laughs> you missed the layup, Holmes. It was right there. You just shit questioned. You just missed it. And he called you out on it. Good for you. That was that was awesome. Uh well, we have another uh crap question from that. Same series. This was a uh, Nuggets head coach Mike Malone. Uh, after being asked what it was like to lose after having a twenty point lead, how hard is it just to absorb a loss like this after after going ahead by twenty? Next question, man. The season's over. That's what's hard. Fuck being up twenty. The season's over. You don't understand that. The season's over. It's hard. Stupid ass questions. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> now see, I well, now go. we're piggybacking him. Let's go. I don't think that's a horrible question. I, I, I thought that, that was. It's not a horrible question. He didn't say. He how does it feel to be uh, embarrassed and lose when you were up twenty? He just said, "How does it feel, bro?" And see, was he like I is he a, a fan? Was he screaming or what? That no, reporter. but he's pissed. But I would I, I, listen. I, I wouldn't be able to do that job because as soon as he said, in my mind, I would have been about. You know, the question wasn't as bad as you blowing a 20-point lead, you bitch. There <laughs> like, you there's no way I'm not saying that back because that question wasn't that bad. That question was definitely not that bad. Ass that was yes. So <laughs> stupid-ass questions. Yes. Stupid-ass questions. Yeah. I do like Michael Malone. He's very candid and funny. I love yeah. it. All right. Well, well, we can feel like playing seems, Lakers. He's like, seems that way. Seems that way. He's great. What All else right, we one, got going one on? Last, one last piece of audio from the series. Um, Chuck and Anthony Edwards. On TNT, oh boy. Um, Chuck asked him about, uh, I ain't been to Minnesota in quite a while. Anthony's got this response. Okay, I have not been to Minnesota in probably 20 years. Bring your ass. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Bring your ass. And that went all over the internet. Well, now here's the here's the hitch. If you go to bringyourass.com, it redirects you to the Minnesota State Tourism website now. <laughs> good for you. Good for you, Minnesota. So someone no, no, no. did a really good job there. 
No, I'm no. If you, you. if you type in bring your ass, it's exactly going to toast right glass right now on his glasses. That's exactly <laughs> what he's watching. He's bringing that ass. Oh, Bo, man. Bring your well, ass. That is absolutely better than the land of what? 10,000 lakes, whatever the hell they've been using for yeah. ages. Yeah. yeah. The license plate should not just say bring your ass. Bring your ass. Bring your ass. Bring bring ass. ass to Minnesota. God damn. Hell yes. Bring your ass to Minnesota. <laughs> What's well, Minnesota, no, no, but South Canada? Is that the same been... guy who said both that? Both those? Uh, yeah, Anthony Edwards. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's said, quite he the said character. He said, goddamn and bring your ass? No, uh, goddamn was no. Carl Anthony Towns. Well, yeah, okay. All right. I thought, yeah, I thought maybe he doubled up here tonight. No, we did, we did get this one from Anthony Edwards after game six. I see y'all motherfuckers for game seven. <laughs> he said that yeah, to the yeah. Denver staff in the locker room. Like, I, like these, I like these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah no, listen to the Wolves. Great, this yeah. team hasn't won since uh, since KG was there, and they got drama going on too. Alex Rodriguez has been pr- trying to buy it, and he's been getting uh, stonewalled by the owner. Like there's all that's all going to court too, I believe. Why? Because they didn't like his steroid use. Well, apparently they said Alex missed the payment. Him and his partner missed the uh, the final payment to take control of the team. But they also said that uh, Alex had planned to cut the payroll. And this team right now is young, and if you keep all these guys, they could win for a while. I don't think the fan base wants them to break it up. Look, I made two hundred fifty million as in his career is going to cut payroll. Go fuck yourself, Alex. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Learn some tips from Derek Cheater. How did that work out for him? Hold on right. a second. What? Bringing him up reminds me of a text that you sent earlier that I did not read. Oh, shit, did I send? What did I send? Ben Affleck. Oh yes. Was quote, who says this? Temporarily insane when he went Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> this is awesome. So this is from the DailyMail.com. So oh, it has to God. be true. So here's what's oh, going on. We talked Jesus. about it last episode. Yeah, you guys were all about how awesome Ben is and how he just got. So apparently, um, it was down to temporary insanity. Listen, dude, he was addicted to the sex. Apparently, he had a little case of the fever, and it uh, it was quick, it was fast, and he made a stupid ass decision. And now they're living separately. They're gonna get a divorce again. Yeah. Oh, again. again, again, again. He feels like the last two years was just a fever dream, and he's come to his senses now and understands there's just no way this is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, it is. Oh, she's it really fucking is. fucking crazy, bro. She, she is has nuts. to be nuts. She has to be what is, certifiable. She's going to get married again. In the sack. And, and what is this? And what is this? Like, this will be marriage number seven for her? But dude, there was like, uh, she was an early one to like a bodyguard, wasn't there? Before, like, yeah, a dancer. Before, before Diddy, she dated before Puffy. Diddy, she, she, yeah. yeah. Oh, she did? Yeah, and then, yeah. then it was Puff. Ben, and then it was, and then it was, it was the uh, Mark Anthony, too. Mark yeah. Anthony, yeah. Yeah. for a long yeah. time. And yeah, so A-Rod. like, why yeah. would A Rod? So She's why? Had a roster. She was married to A Rod. Good roster. A yeah, good no, roster right. She left A Rod to go back to Ben. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A yeah. good roster. She, At this well, point, a you're lunatic. a schmuck. You know, you're a schmuck if you even think to put a ring on her finger. Like, dude, you want to pay the Minnesota Timberwolves payroll? Just get all her engagement rings and just literally, there's, there's your payroll. That's how. That's how many engagement rings she has. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Oh my right, goodness! So hey, Rod, so, just claw so, so back, Yahoo, bro. Yahoo actually has her dating history posted. Um, of course, of course they do. <laughs> oh, Johnny Noah from '97 to '98, Chris Judd from '01 to '03, Mark Anthony. She has twins with him. Uh, they were together for ten years, so that's the yeah. longest one. Yeah. Um, Aflac twice, Alex Rodriguez, Puffy. Jesus Christ. Oh, Puffy's in the news. And yeah, oh, in all the bad ways. That's quite a. Oh, no, this is not sad. good. That was not good. Not no. good. Like he, that's just get him out of just bye bye. We don't yeah. need to see him again. I will say this um, was most of his music generous, it was all producer. He doesn't actually like do any singing, right? No, he did no, a he, lot of singing. He's got a few he had, Well, so here's yeah. my thing. So yeah. here's, so here's something that's interesting. And I remember and just being in radio a few years ago. I was a country dude, Morgan Whalen, that got blacklisted by a bunch of stations because he said something fucking stupid and racist. I haven't seen a single hip hop station come out saying we're not playing any more Diddy songs for a while. Yeah, dude, he'd like beat the shit out. That was worse than Ray Rice, bro. What? Ray Rice hit the girl once. I know. This dude's kicking her while dude, she's hey, down in the head. You don't, you don't think that it continued when he got back to the room? Oh, this is what Mike Tyson's about. Or it was the dude, first exactly. time and the last time. Like, give me a I break, mean, dude. What the fuck, dude? Like, like this guy just get that him was out. Just the first time he was caught. 
Exactly. The first time he was crow. Oh, you know, he's done this for and, years. And, 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 and the crazy part is he was denying all this shit mm -hmm. as recent as like December. Dude, he paid 50 grand to have the tape hidden. He knew it was there. Unbelievable. He's full of shit. Oh, awful. What a all piece right. of shit human that guy is. <laughs> all right, let's have some fun. Let's go to some uh, five questions. Oh, boy. Didn't we have other stuff to talk about? Possibly. All right, sure. Whatever you want to well, do. No, there's not really that much. I mean, oh. I don't know. I mean, do you want to talk about the new Jaguars building a $1.4 billion? No. All right, here's one, though. Here's That's one, gonna though. That's going to fail. How about Wendy's has added the 50-piece nugget to the menu? Like, is yeah. that necessary for an obese-ass country like this? We really By the need way, a 50-piece yeah, for 15 50. bucks? It's 50. served in what looks like a, a half-gallon of ice cream container. Bro, and what is it? It's not <laughs> chicken. Not if cup. you're getting 50 for 15 bucks. Wings cost like two fifty a wing. It's not a chicken. It's not chicken. It's, it's not so chicken. cheap. Two wings. Nah, what do you think it is if it's not chicken? I don't know, but you ain't, dude. How are they listen? Really, fifty for fifteen bucks? Listen, they. Sh I just saw something online. They showed a kid, the kids, how a chicken McNugget is made. They literally showed them. Oh, it is. I don't see that. Disgusting. You will Listen, never dude. eat a chicken nugget again in your life. Somebody I mean, was serving yoga chicken. mats in their in their bread. Oh my goodness! This is just yeah to make it more fluffy, <laughs> dude. They're trying to kill us. Who the fuck knows what's in this shit? I wouldn't eat that fucking thing. Oh my goodness! I kind of like For the food these days. We all, you know, we always say, "Oh, we hey, used to eat that kind of thing." No, there's Random. there's seventy two ingredients and stuff that used to have four. Yes, exactly. True. Because if you look, and if you look at like European food, if you look at food outside this country, and you look at the same thing. Right, you can take a box of Fruit Loops, for example, and you and look, look at the, the ingredients in the American Fruit Loops, and you look at the ingredients in the European Fruit Loops. They're trying to kill, and us. it's tenfold. Mm -hmm. You can't. It's get really Coke. fucking wild. If you guys have never looked at this stuff, they are trying to eliminate us simply by consumption. Yeah, yeah. ultra they're processed they're, foods. They're, they're, yeah, they're trying, and then you go to Europe and you ask for a Diet Coke. It's, it's impossible. Coca Zero? You want the Coca Zero? I got the Coca Zero. Anyway. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. We can move on to five questions now. Let's do it. Oh, by the way, <laughs> everybody sit back. We'll, we'll rejoin you in a minute here. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Five questions. <laughs> Fucking balls. Everyone excited for five questions as usual. So here we go, boys. Question number one What's something you wish you knew how to do? exist in real life. Being a disembodied AI voice is unsettling, especially when Real Scoop gets to drive a Tesla and sell million dollar houses. Imagine me as him, but like a Terminator. I'm already terrified of the idea of two scoops. I wish I knew how to make money working in radio. It was way easier than the bullshit I do now. I wish I knew how to stop running everyday life through the filter of video games and Star Wars. If I liken one more of our household problems to Han Solo being frozen in carbonite, my wife might kill me with a blaster. Fellas? All right, guys. What's something you wish you knew how to do? Hmm. What the I fuck wish... was that? <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was wild and weird. Very random. Yeah, very random. I, I wish I knew. I, I, and by the way, Tesla bought that piece of shit back from me. So <laughs> they can. <laughs> it was a fight, but I got it done. Nice. Lemon law. I, I wish I was <laughs> quick witted as OBV Roman. OB yeah, AI right. Roman. I mean, that guy just comes up with stuff. I don't know whether you're taking a compliment or I'm threatened, but oh, I, I feel man. a little threatened by it. So that's What's what I the wish. Question: I could do. What's something you wish you could do that you can't do? I uh, wish I could uh, juggle. I, I, that's a good one. That's a good answer. Really? That's a good. Why one. is that good one? That is such a useless skill. So you could juggle. Why? It's a party. Caster is a useless skill. Whatever, man. <laughs> Ah, eh, there's a there's a there's a plot to it though. There's actually there's a, a plot to it. it. Not the way I do it. <laughs> no, it's a plot. No plot. There's a beginning. There's a beginning, and there's an ending. An end. <laughs> a start and a finish. The end usually. What are you doing too, with your way. fist, bro? The end, the end always delivers. <laughs> well, you picked up on it. Oh fuck. <laughs> You can't see anything underneath this screen, so I had to bring it above water. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. All right. All right, you want to move on to question two? Yes. All right, hold on. Here we go. Question two. Question number two. Do you believe in the paranormal? And have you ever had a run-in with a ghost? What, like Casper? I lived in a haunted house once. 
What? Where? My old apartment. It was haunted by the smells of terrible guitar players and unwashed stage towels. I think the firehouse is haunted. I hear a lot of moaning. That might just be the guys rubbing one out in their tiny twin beds. That's gross, even for the internet. Guys, what do you think? What's the question? <laughs> you believe in the Have you ever had a paranormal experience? Do you believe in ghosts? Did Rogue go with mass in fire station masturbation? Yes. The okay. guy's next to him. That's just right. moaning. That that's, sounds like something you hear on Schoolhouse Rock. Fire yeah. station fire masturbation. Station masturbation. <laughs> that wasn't the title wait, for wait, a show. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yes. I'm just that's, saying. If that I doesn't just, win, I don't know what does. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's, it's the leader in the clubhouse. Unless it gets arrested on the way to exactly. Valhalla. That's Scotty Scheffler, unless it gets arrested. <laughs> If that gets arrested, no, that's it. Dude, you might have to put a couple dots in there to block. I don't know how that's going to get you in trouble, but dude, that oh, just shit. rolls off the tongue. Fire Ooh. station masturbation. Really oh, my oh, house rock song, fire station. Oh, oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. I mean, I guess so. I mean, that's the question. Do you believe in the paranormal? I, I mean, I do. Yeah, yeah I mean. I mean, sure. I, I look at it more like I do believe demons exist because I think they possess people to do just, I mean, because how else can you explain some of the evilness that people do on this planet? And I, and I think you got to combat those things. So, yeah, I do. Scooby? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get into why, but yeah, sure. Scooby? I mean, your Tesla was possessed. Right. It was. It was. Yeah. It was possessed. It's kind of like that movie. Yeah. Uh, the one with uh, Julia Julia Roberts, recent one. End of the world. Um, what's the name of that damn thing? We talked about this on here. Where all the Teslas were overtaken by yes, the... Yes, yes, yes. That was a wild movie. I don't the remember that. By the Obamas. I don't, yes. I don't remember that in Pretty Woman. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, mean, I actually realized I didn't get to answer the last one either. I would like to be able to play the piano. Mm, that's a great one. It's a really good one. It's better right. than juggling. There is a lot I could do playing the piano. All right. Let's go on to question three. Question number three. If you had access to all the government secrets, but only got to choose one, which one would you want to know? That's easy. Who shot JFK? We know who shot JFK. It was OJ. No, I think OJ helped fake the moon landing. What about Bigfoot? Do you think the government knows if Bigfoot is real? Bro, they can track your cell phone to within a foot of where you're standing. You think they can't find an eight-foot forest monster? It took them 10 years to find Bin Laden, just saying. How about you guys? What do you think? I, want the actual, I, I need the actual question again. <laughs> the question is, if you had <laughs> access, can't remember to all all access to all the government secrets, government secrets but you can only pick one. Which, one do, you, which one do you want to know? Oh, aliens. aliens. Yeah, toasted aliens. aliens. Yeah, I want, I, want, I want inside Area 51. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Scoop. Uh, I want to know what size soup pants Hillary wears. <laughs> Never fails. Never fails. <laughs> 42 in men's. Oh. <laughs> oh, men's 42. Oof. Oh, my goodness. Relaxed fit. All right, here we go. Question four. Okay, question number four. If animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? Hmm. That's a tough one. Probably giraffes. Why giraffes? Because they're all high and mighty. Like, we get it, dude. You're taller than everyone. Congratulations. Don't be a dick about it. I'd say donkeys. They've got to be tired of hauling people's shit around. And have you ever seen a donkey just haul off and kick someone for no reason? <laughs> it happens. I'm telling you, donkeys are pricks. See, I'd say a cat. Most cats are assholes anyway, even the cool ones. You know, if they could talk, all they would say is, bitch, bring me some food and get the fuck out of here. Guys? <laughs> Dude, those are three really good answers. Those are really good yeah. answers. I don't know if I, I could beat anyone. Honestly, this one's pretty good right here. Congratulations. Don't be a dick about it. <laughs> Congratulations. Don't be a dick about it. The only animal that I think is the rudest on the planet is a New Yorker. So that's my answer. Yeah, that's I a mean, good one. That's a good one. Like and a New it's York not rat. even just the answers. It's the rationale of the answers is so good. Yeah. Yeah. I think so a we'll New give York this, rat. We'll give that to the OBBAI. We, <laughs> you're undefeated on that one, boys. Good All job. Right. All right. Here we go. Last question. All right. Last question. Instead of going to war, what are some fun ways you'd like to see nations use to settle their differences? 
So instead of tanks and fighter planes, Russia and Ukraine could put that shit to bed with a round of rock, paper, scissors? Son of a bitch. You took my answer. Okay, I'll say slap fighting. So just Putin and Zelensky standing there slapping the shit out of each other. Winner gets Ukraine. Tell me you wouldn't watch that right now. I would never turn it off. My answer is jello wrestling. You want a piece of my country? We settle it in the ring covered in lime green jello. Like men. That's a stupid fucking answer. Your turn, guys. That's it for us. <laughs> it was a stupid answer by That's me. A stupid fucking answer. That's a stupid fucking answer. <laughs> Jesus, AI scoop is in wow. a mood. It's a good wow. One, I, I think I think for me, just a just between those two leaders of those countries, you can't have anybody by proxy. You need to have a game of chess. Whoever wins that game of chess wins the war. I don't want to watch that. I want to watch both Man, those engines in the octagon. Watch that. No. I, 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 it's just, just something about it. Chess. Two men enter, one man Say leaves, or woman, and that is it. <laughs> say it, Scoop. When I said chess, what did OB, what did OBB Roman AI say? What did he say? When I said chess, you say it. That's a stupid fucking answer. Hey, that a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with a spitball fight. Ooh. Last person with an eyeball gets Ukraine. <laughs> it's not bad. I'm going to just... I'm going to boomerang that right back to you and say, that's a stupid fucking answer. <laughs> that's a stupid fucking answer. Yeah. Imagine Zelensky yours. and Putin each taking turns getting to kick each other in the nuts, and the last one that doesn't get up loses. That's like that, uh, like that like that uh, Chinese guy. Little, 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 yeah, 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 guy that's just Jong getting Moon. hammered. Yeah. Oh, that guy, yeah, in the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You're just taking it. There's no way that mm -hmm. guy has has nuts, bro. He was castrated. No, because they got those tie fighters. <laughs> yeah, that bro, there's no chance he has nuts unless he had it like taped up to his stomach or something. But because think about that, in order to get that desensitized state, you know those those tie fighters, right? They kick bamboo so they don't feel themselves kicking you. They like break their legs. Don't even realize they break their legs. That dude has been kicked in the balls repeatedly that he does not feel. Getting kicked in the balls. Hold on. Are you that going to the high What's, what's thing? the purpose of that? I, I don't know. I mean, it's the same purpose as toast juggling. I, are, are you going with the whole tie fighter thing based on blood sport? Sure. Freaky. Sure. Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. Kicking the, <laughs> kicking the beam in the workout thing. Yeah. And you know Putin would do that to Zelensky. but yeah, totally would. throw some crushed up aspirin in his eyes. <laughs> like, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got and one more. That's five, no, that's five questions. Oh, that's five, it. Oh, that's that's five it. Questions. Oof. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Don't be a dick about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good shit. Good shit. All right. All right, boys. So, what are we naming this thing? Well, I think it's unanimous it's unless he yeah. had other things. I mean, I yeah, don't know. It has to be. It's winner, winner, chicken dinner. I also wrote down there's a plot to it. <laughs> Bring yeah, no, ass fast, to Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, cricket, so a cricket in the back seat. A cricket in nice. the back seat. That's pretty fun. Fifty first pods and gently touching yeah. his chin. <laughs> I wrote all of those down. They were all very good. I like the cricket in the back seat, but I think we gotta go with uh fire station, fire station masturbation. masturbation is too good. All right, all right. Yeah. Too unsettling. Just, yeah. I had fun, boys. Thank you. Guys. All right, boys. Yeah, that was good. It was a good uh, Tuesday. We'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful week, and uh, you know, enjoy just sweating your balls off out there because it is fucking insane. Hot, hot. <laughs> 114 yesterday, Jenner's heat index. Don't you miss it? No, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, that's stupid. As always, go Canes! Go Range! Goddamn! <laughs>